went the ball into a car, but neither driver nor fireman heard it. Stop! yelled the players, but Stepney didn't hear them. Come along, come along, he puffed to the cars. Our one and only ball, cried the players. Wake up, Caroline, they said to their old car. The chase is on. Caroline coughed crossly and rolled down the road. Stephanie wasn't hurrying. Caroline soon came up behind. Toot, toot, she wailed. The players shouted, but Stepney was still too far away for his driver and fireman to see or hear properly. They completely misunderstood. If those jokers want a race, said the driver, they can have one. Faster, Stepney, faster. Poor Caroline wasn't happy at all. She rattled along at twice her usual speed. Her driver pounded Caroline on up the steep hill and then down the other side toward the station. Stepney was already there when Caroline cluttered in. We need our ball back, cried the players, and explained everything. The ball was nestled under some straw in the third car from the van. We found it, cried a player. We're sorry, sighed the driver. Oh, you couldn't help it, replied the player. Now we must get back quickly. You'll be lucky, said the driver. Caroline looks worn out, and she was. The driver spoke to the station master and the signal man, and they all agreed on a plan. Soon they had rolled Caroline onto a flat car with a brake van coupled behind. The players crowded inside, and Stepney pulled the train back to the playing field.